Hello YouTube, this is Gbo Unit here, and I'm going to reassemble the Ruger Mark III standard. Okay, so uh, let's do a quick review here. Um, here's here's all the pieces of the gun after I disassembled it. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back together. Now disassembling it is a lot easier than reassembling it. Um, like I said, this is a new gun, and all the tolerances are very tight. So taking it apart was a challenge and putting it back together is a real challenge because everything's so tight and if something's not quite right you don't want to force anything because you might break something as a matter of fact I in looking at uh, reviews for this particular pistol I did run into a video that someone did where he was upset because he broke something inside of his gun trying to reassemble it and uh, you know what? I can only say that it's it's operator error because he he was impatient and tried to force something, and broke his gun. So um, you just have to be a little patient and pay close attention to your gun when you take it apart and when you put it back together. So here is putting it back together. Now, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to put the receiver back together with the barrel slide. Um, so what you're going to do is right here you'll see, ooh, it's kind of bright, okay, that square piece right there, okay, right there, okay, that, we'll call that like a little diving board, okay, that is going to uh, hook into a notch in the slide, okay, that little diving board right there, okay, remember that, okay, that diving board is going to go right in there see that square right there okay if I tilt it forward the diving board is going to go inside there and no it's not a very good shot there but um, oh, my fingers are in the way okay see that right in there it's going to go in there okay so that's step one so you want to make sure that get the barrel pointed in the right way the receiver pointed in the right way now if you look here, okay, there's your little diving board, okay, and here's your little notch. So you're going to make sure that they're lined up, okay, and they're going to mate together just like that, okay. And now the directions and all the videos say push until it stops and you're ready for the next step. Well, <clears throat> this is a new gun, and pushing when I stop or pushing until it stops is not going to be enough okay here's why the directions also say that push until this barrel slightly overhangs the receiver okay as you can see there's no overhang at all as a matter of fact it's retracted still see there's a lip right here on the receiver this is supposed to be that way more so no matter you know I'm not incredibly strong or anything and this gun is brand new it's not moving so the directions say that if you encounter this problem pad your your table surface and wrap it right here pow just like that well I don't want to do that because I don't have very good padding here and I might put a hole in this table so I am going another route okay remember this gun is unloaded so I'm gonna hold it like so and I'm going to take my rubber mallet and I emphasize rubber mallet and I'm going to strike the muzzle of this gun sharply okay to force this thing back so here we go okay that was pretty forceful right there okay alright now if you notice after that you'll see that this barrel now slightly overhangs this receiver see that amazing so it slightly overhangs it now so there's a little lip on the under underside here now the next part it, it'll tell you to you know put the magazine in put the bolt in blah 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 okay what you want to do before you do that since this gun is so stiff okay are you guys that have that have problems like I'm encountering right now take your pin here and you know how it goes up in here now when you get everything together if this doesn't go in you're out of luck because you're gonna be struggling like this 
See, it's stuck right there, okay? This pin should go freely up in here just like that, but it's stopping here because the, the barrel is not exactly lined up with the receiver, okay? So to remedy that, you're gonna take this and go from the top, okay? Stick that down in there, okay? Now see how it is not flush? It should go all the way down, but it's not. So what you do, now here's another note right here. See how it cranks like that? Please make sure do not hold it up like this and turn it, because you're going to damage this and you're going to put a big old scratch on your slide, okay? And you may even screw up your rear sight if you turn it like so. So what you want to do, you just keep it, you know, perpendicular just like that, okay? Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna line up the holes by gently tapping this with your rubber mallet until this pin drives all the way through. So just go ahead and take it and Okay, see how it's going down? See that? All right, so that tells me that the barrel is now lined up, okay? So what you also want to do, just to make sure everything is lined up, go ahead and being very careful not to crank this up and scratch your slide, just kind of jiggle it back and forth, just kind of loosen it in there just to make sure that it's that, you know, the holes are lined up and then slowly work it right back out, okay? Now you know that this barrel is lined up with this receiver. Okay, so next step. That square that's sitting in there right now in that hole, that's the hammer. You want to lay it down horizontally, so you want it to lay like that. The way you do that is this you pull back, okay? So you can either get a pen or your finger um, and just pull it back. So I'll go ahead and take this. Hopefully you can see this. Oh, you see it lay down? I pulled it back. See that? Pull it back and depress it. Okay. Um, you can also stick your pinky in there. Just to see how it's pretty much clear that square is not standing up in there anymore. So you could also put your finger in there like that and just pull it back, just like that. Okay. Make sure you can feel it. It's laying flat. It's laying straight. Okay. All right. Now the next thing you can do: take your magazine, insert it, point it down. Okay. Actually, it's pointed up, but this step is not real necessary because you've already laid the hammer down. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that that it's pointed up. You press the trigger, check out the hammer, make sure it's laying down, and then you're going to go ahead and remove the magazine. Okay. That's just to ensure that the hammer's flat. So after you have the hammer flattened out, you're going to take your bolt and you're going to make sure of two things. One, that this, oops, that this, where's it at? Oh, here we go, I'm sorry. That this pin is here, it's located, it's, that it's in here, that it's not missing, okay? Now the other side of it's easier to see because the pin is silver and the, this side of it is black. So you wanna make sure that pin is on there because, you know, it, it's going, to, if with this pin out, the next time this thing cycles, the firing pin is going to shoot out and damage the gun and you'll screw it up. So make sure that's in there um, and you'll take your gun and you'll slide it in here gently, okay? And you're going to have to jiggle it around a little bit to get the, slide, the bolt to slide all the way in, just like that. Okay, so now hopefully your holes are all lined up. You'll see a little notch in there and that's the, the retaining spring. So that's okay, that's, that's fine. So now what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you'll see that, that silver square in there again, the hammer, okay? You're gonna want to push that all the way forward. So the way you can manipulate that, get your magazine, put it back in the gun, okay, like so and then you're gonna be prepared to pull the trigger on this. Um, 
let me go ahead and show this. Okay, first thing you're going to do, you're going to go ahead and push this hammer up. Okay, see if you can see this. Okay, do you see that? Okay, push the hammer up. Okay, now it's not all the way up. Okay, keep that there. Press the trigger and Sorry, this is a difficult angle to work with. And push it all the way up. I'm holding the trigger down and I see that? See it disappear? I don't know if you could see that, but the hammer will go fully up. Okay. Once you do that, you know, the, the, I had the trigger pushed. Let go of the trigger. Keep, keep it pointed down. Okay. And now you're going to take your pin here. Make sure that it's facing the correct way, and now you're going to insert it. Okay, now since you've got those holes lined up, you're going to go ahead and position it right there and start pushing it in. Okay, look at that. Goes in right nice. Okay, now you're going to make sure that as you put that in, that this is pushed down all the way. So you'll hold it like so and start pulling on this. Since the gun is new, it's going to have a difficult time coming in all the way. So what I do here, hold it down. I'm going to wrap on this lightly. Okay. Oh, and there it goes. Pin popped up. Okay. Now, okay, now you see how that just fell in like that? That is incorrect. Okay, what you want to do keeping this up, you're going to turn the gun upside down because you want, there's a pin in here, I don't know if you can see it, there's a pin in here that you want to have dangling. As a matter of fact, if you listen, you can hear it. Okay, when it's down like that, then put this back in, you'll notice that now it is not flush, it's kind of springy. So, you pull the spring like so, push it down, and there, it's back together. Then, remember, it's still on fire. Okay. There we go. Still good. All right. And there's your assembly of the Ruger Mark III standard. If you got any questions, please put comments down. Let me know. Um, this was very difficult to do at first, but get familiar with your weapon and get familiar with how to take it down and how to put it back together. And take your time. And uh, you know, it helps to take video or take pictures of it so you know what it looks like if you get lost. So anyway, hope that helps out and take care of yourselves. Thank you for watching. Bye.